Hello everyone, welcome back to another Let's Play. Today I'm taking a look at GameCore DX. I want to thank the developers for giving me a review copy of this game. So they can come in here and start a new game. Alright, start my game, name my game company. I'll be... Ice Warm Studios. Let's pick our icon here. Kind of like that. We'll start with normal. Start the game. Create the best game studio ever. All right. All right. Hire some workers. Click on an empty workstation. All right. Hire worker. All right. We have Ron B, Christopher H, and Morgan A. Hire another worker, alright, click this desk. Not sure what it means if they have a circle or a star, but we'll go for Morgan A. Can they work on a project? Project manager. Alright, new project. Alright, scale requires workers currently. You have two, so you can only make micro games. Alright, bonus XP. the easier games to make are. Go with four games. Name the game, alright. Call our game Night Terrors. It's actually in also a Star Trek episode. Alright, shooters require more code but less writing. Right name and continue. Night Terrors in Horror Games will continue. Select the team you want to work on the project and which tasks they'll do. Okay, my workers don't have their skills leveled up, so one isn't better at code than the other or anything like that. So he will do, Christopher H will do code and art. Morgan A will do sound and writing. And we'll continue. Alright, select the tool. Alright, we don't have any tools on lock, it looks like, or beside the basic game creator, wave creator, paint, and notepad. Alright, yep, require specialization, we don't have any of that, so we'll create our game. Buttons to speed up time, alright. Two faces, alright. Pre and post production. So they're in the planning phase, it looks like. Project summary. They're done with the coding. They're working on the art, sound, and writing still. Alright, looks like the game is complete. Ready to publish. Okay. Okay. Call it and choose a budget. Low quality, of course. Okay. No budget and. Publish. Just another game gone wrong. Night Terrors brings nothing new to the table. So, no stars across the board from anybody. I like that there's a total crumpet instead of total biscuit. We have VGN instead of IGN. Boulder paper shotgun instead of rock paper shotgun. And Kotaku, which is essentially Kotaku again. So, no stars from any of those. Generating revenue. Check our charts. 
we've lost money on it so far because we had to pay to develop it. Close this. Build. Build the training station. Okay. Specialization allows workers to use better tools. Train some workers, alright. Alright, we'll train Christopher H. Looks like Morgan A has some experience now in sound and writing. But we'll do Christopher H on art. Get him started on that. Using Photoshop. Another studio is opening. Right now we're the only studio. Let's see, four hundred seventy dollars. We're still down. Let's continue. All right, two workers, zero awards, and one game. We have no loan, and we have looks like twenty-six thousand five hundred eighty-seven dollars. Release dropped off. No awards yet. And the awards are in January. Okay. Okay, tutorial's over. Speed up time. I think he... Is he the one training? Alright, he is training on that. Learning Photoshop. When he's done training, I'll train him on something else. What's he good at, though? He's got experience in sound and writing. Okay. Yeah, I might put him on code then. Day is over. All right, releases. We made three thousand three hundred sixty dollars. Right. He's training. Please speed up. When he's done trading, we'll create another game. Project. Alright, we'll do a racing game this time. What would we call our game? Racing. We'll just call it Turbo. Oh, Grand Prix won't fit. Turbo Challenge. Alright. Photoshop for graphics. Burr's gun. I didn't name it Burr's gun, but okay. Alright, speed up time. Hopefully, since we have some better tools to, in our uh, arsenal now, we'll be able to make a better game, hopefully. Probably won't be much better, but... And 
or he already knows how to use Photoshop. Let's bring in some more workers here. Bring in Frankie. He's a little more expensive, but maybe that means he has better skills. We'll see. Game Awards, I have two games out, but none of them are really great. Most beloved studio gets the most fans, okay. They got that award. Highest rated game. It can't be mine. Mine got terrible ratings. Yep. Blampier got that. Highest revenue. Yep, they cleaned up. Just with three employees, it looks like. All right, and we'll be back next year for the next year's awards. Okay, Christopher now has some art skill. Hmm, I wonder where Morgan's uh, writing or sound and writing skill went to. But Frank, we will do. Sound. Can we make a bigger game now? Let's see. We don't have enough workers to do small games. We're still doing micro games. finish his training and we're gonna put him on one game when he's done so let's create a new project slow time back down to be normal what has is there a game that has like a your role playing doesn't really have that high let's do that All right, he'll be on art for sure he will be on code. Frankie will put him on writing. Okay, the team's already full, so it's still a two-person team. Code and sound. United in Photoshop again. Don't have any more tools in writing or sound open. is the game. Hire one more worker here. Right, let's see. Code is done. Art is done. Sound and writing are finishing up. Publish it. wonder if we can actually put a budget on it. We'll try publishing it with a, with a budget. All right, well, I'm getting slightly better reviews from Total Crumpet and Boulder Paper Shotgun. They have, looks like, uh, three quarters of a star for, from each. That is a slightly better game. Let's train some workers here. Bill will be working on writing. And I should probably actually buy another... Where's the build mode? Build... Another training unit. There we go. Get out the build mode. And 
Frankie's going over to the train. Okay. Frankie will be training on this one. In code. Or in sound. It looks like he can train in sound. Alright, looks like everybody actually has their specializations ready. How's his training doing? Okay, he's trained in sound on that program. Alright. He is trained on code and he is trained on art. Let's create another game. Small game has four people. Do a puzzle this time. Block attack will be the puzzle game. Let's see, Chris is good at art. Got him. He is good in code. These two don't have specializations yet. So sound and writing. Alright, and we'll be, we're using four improved tools. Uh, like that. They have Surreal Engine instead of Unreal Engine. Mayans instead of Maya. Word, Sound Frog. Alright, let's create this game. Oh, we don't have enough money to create it. So, I'll have to speed up, get some, hopefully get some sales. Buy a plant. We need about $50,000 to do Let's do a new project. Small. Should get us more fans if we do a strategy title. Let's try strategy. Chris for him in code. Are we not code? Um, art. Code. Writing sound. We're at $34,000 if we use basic tools, so let's see, 43, 49, 53,000, okay, we don't have enough to take that, we can do Wave Creator, can't do that yet, 52,000 is what we have, it's going to cost us 56 to run this game with our improved tools, so... Let's get a few more thousand dollars and we should be good to go. It'll take up all of our money, but maybe if you make the, a, a great game, it'll work. Alright, the expenses came out, so we still need to get about four thousand more dollars. sales and then we'll go with these improved tools. Okay, so he needs a good coder. We have United Engine, we'll use that. Alright, we'll actually produce the game just with this just to see if we can get it going. So United Photoshop, Wave Creator, and Notepad. Yep, now we only have about a thousand dollars because we spent it all making this game. Have they even started yet? I don't have a big enough room to do that, it looks like. Okay, so I need to expand my studio. This is a pretty cool little strategy game slash simulation. Again, I want to thank the developers for giving me a review copy of it. Got to mess around a little bit more, make the studio a little bit bigger, and then release this bigger game. But um, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can check it out on Steam. 
As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the button right below. You can also follow me on Twitter. And if you want to support me, you can do so on Patreon by clicking that button. Again, I want to thank you for watching and have a good one.